Hello, welcome to the documentary on the Fontaines, the British band from the U.S. Well, hello! How are you? Hi, I'm Luke Albertson, and, uh, well, pretty much what we're doing today is, uh, we're telling the story of our band, The Fontaines. So, pretty much, we're just going to give you a little background on how we formed as a band. and where we plan to go from here on out. So, uh, just hold on, sit, be sit right back in your chairs, and enjoy the ride. Make sure to untie your shoelaces. Before taking off your shoes. And so, this is where it all started. 588 Silver Lake Road. So, let's just sit down, and I'll tell you this tale. So, as I said before, my name is Luke Albertson, and, well, pretty much, I, I sing in the band. And uh, I play the guitar because, uh, or, at le or at least that's what we s I say I do. You know, because, well, the thing about the Fontaines that we're trying to go for a completely different genre of music than everybody else. And, well, here's what we've figured out to be the best policy. Well, here's the thing. We don't exactly play any shows. We've, we've learned that, well actually we haven't learned that we don't like them per se, but uh, we just haven't had any. And secondly, um, we don't really play a whole lot either. You know, more, more than anything, the Fontaines, the band, is just in our hearts. And uh, that's, that's our life. I mean. We live the rocker lifestyle. I mean, I get up maybe one, two o'clock in the afternoon every day. And of course, I don't take showers. A very key part of the, of the Fontaines is uh, a guy by the name of Tim Junker. We call him Junker because he he does all the junk work for us, and uh, he's our he's our manager. He's he doesn't get a lot of lot of attention, but uh, we're we're gonna give him this one. So that. All right, well, I'm going to give it up to Tim. When managing a band like the Fontaines, it's important to maintain a very social and uh, personal relationship with them, but also be uh, business-like. And I mean, I'm only 16 and I'm managing the best band ever to come out of the United States slash UK. And um, what sets me above of, the, of other, um, you know, 10th graders is I smoke a pipe. I actually don't use real tobacco or even real smoke 
I just puff on it because um, I'm a law-abiding citizen and smoking before the age of 18 is illegal in 48 of the 50 states in America. So I, um, it's just a look and um, it helps, definitely helps. <coughs> it's bad for you though. <coughs> Sometimes, when you sit like this and you got your arm up here and the girl sits down next to you, you can pretend like you're dating her. <coughs> My main job with the Fontaines is managing, but I also do all the promotional work and all their, I book everything for them, like, you know, it's... It's not that, it's not as hard as it seems. Since they don't do concerts, I don't need a book for that. They only do promotional gigs, which keeps me busy because um, they're a hot ticket right now and um, everyone's looking for them, especially Hurley. Um, they can't get enough of them. And um, the band has made it uh, specific to me that they're not about selling out. I mean, they're not in this to make money, but I am. I'm completely in it to make money. Um, I have needs, you know college coming up soon but you know if this gig works out well I might not even go <coughs> anyway I'm getting out of my business posture to give you more of a personal in-depth look of the Fontaines what they are really about is about Lead, lead singer Brandon Dane Cud. Dane is an alias he uses when he robs banks. Um, and that's where he gets his inspiration to write all the songs. He writes pretty much every song that the band has ever written. Actually, I'm not even sure if they've ever written a song. But if they did, he'd be the one to write it. Like, come in, like, zoom in on me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me be on the couch. Air action. Turn it off. I wish I could just quit. Too deep now. Huh? I think I was watching that. <coughs> well, what do you want to know? Huh? What do you want to know? I'll start at the beginning, I guess. It all started when. I spilled milk all over my pants in the kindergarten. <coughs> yeah, so anyway, I spilled milk on my pants. This girl, man, I hated her. She came up and she's like, haha, you made, you spilled milk on your pants. So I'm like, that's it. I'm gonna be a rock star. Ever since then, just, I went for it. Balls to the walls. Went for it. Rock star all the way. Then I met, uh, Skippy over here, or Luke, and well, I knew he was destined to be a rock star too. Except he was gay. Who knows? That really sucks. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, what about REM? Well. That's the end of my story. I'll talk to you more later. So I've been asked a lot of questions in the past of, I mean, where do you want to go with this thing? This, this band, the Fontaines. 
It's like, and I mean, what kind of market do you want to do you want to cover? And to tell you the truth, if if I could sell out, I would, because I mean, to wear the clothes, sure, I'll wear a Hurley shirt during a concert. I'll, I'll even wear the buckle pants. Who knows? I don't care. I'll even play somebody's random guitar from Japan as long as I'm getting paid for it. And yeah, well, I mean, it's it's not like we have any concerts anyway, so I don't really care. I mean, honestly. Really, I mean, you guys are just you're lucky to even be in my car right now. I mean, I'm getting tired of this media car. I mean, nothing against you. I mean, you're a great guy. Um, but, you know, I don't want really to complain a whole lot because you, you guys really are all about the documentary, you know. I'm really trying to, you know, get people to see uh, the, you know, the backstage behind the spotlight that is the Fontaine's, you know. Of course, I don't care, you know. I got paid rock or whatever. You know, I don't need some stupid camera and some stupid video to tell me that. Or some other stupid band members. Or like, this other jacket. You know, I'm 24 years old. I think I can pick out my own leather jacket. In my own crotchless leather pants. You know, I don't feel like tape right now. Turn off. People often ask me, I mean, they, they ask me questions, and they expect me to answer with, like, an intelligent response. I'm just not about that. I mean, really, I'm just for the for the music. So, anyways, the real reason that I'm in the band is just for the money. I mean, straight out, I, I don't even... I don't even like music. My main influences are Brad Pitt and Ben Stiller. That's who I look to when I try to write a song, which, which I'm not very good at. Oh, sorry, I bumped the camera. Keep going. So, we, what, were, what were we talking about again? So this one time, I was going off the diving board into the into the pool and I fell off right into the water wow your soul pure your heart is full